Everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and this is episode 790. This one is brought to you by the Prime Minister of Australia, Bin Q666, the stunning Kruger effect, Wiamu Hitsun Miku J. That was all one name. And I regret jumping. They all support the show over on patreon.com slash phone losers. You should do that too, unless you're a cheapskate, then it's okay. You don't have to. Yesterday I did a live show in the morning. That was on Thursday. I think it started maybe around 10 a.m. Pacific time, and it went on for about two hours, and I have edited that down to under one hour, and that's what you're about to hear right now is a live show that happened yesterday where I've taken out all the crap and hopefully just left in mostly good stuff. So here it is. Here is yesterday's live show. Oh, and if you're mad that you missed the live show, because I've been telling you for years, all you have to do to catch live shows is add me on Twitter and follow me on Twitter. But no, I stopped doing that. Now I just rely on the prankcast.com notifications. So set up an account over at prankcast.com and then go to prankcast.com slash phone losers and follow me. And then you'll get all of the notifications. It's so easy. It's so much better than stupid Twitter. Hello, you stupid fools. You are listening to the Snowplow Show in Florida. What? Are you insane? <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. This is Phil Proctor at the Firesign Theater. And guess what? We are all insane. So hey, everyone. I'm doing a live show. Isn't that crazy? It's been like a year or something. Uh, I moved uh, a month ago or two months ago. And I just haven't had everything set up to do live shows. I've been wanting to do live shows lately. I didn't know if I could do one today, but I think I can because everything seems to be working. This is my first attempt at a live show. Thanks for calling Pheasant Run. This is Kim. How can I help you? Hey, Kim. I'm a resident here, and I have a question about expanding foam. Is that not a thing you put in the toilet to clean it? Expanding foam? Yeah, you know, you, you spray a little bit of it, and then it just blows up into this huge ball. Okay. And it pretty much breaks everything in its path. And I was putting that in my toilet because someone said that'll clean up, like, the inside because my toilet hasn't been flushing very good lately because I run a channel on YouTube called Will It Flush, and I flush a lot of weird stuff down there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. You should watch. Are you being serious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's on YouTube. You should watch it. It's uh, youtube.com slash will it flush. You'll see me. Will it flush. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I put, I I put Orbeez down the toilet. I put marbles down there. Pretty much everything. You shouldn't be doing that. Well, I don't think that's what the problem was today. But I was trying to fix it by putting expanding foam because they said it expands. Okay, what's your apartment number? It's like on the can. It says expands the pipes for better flushing. But I don't think that's true. It's like when... When, like, flushable wipes say they're flushable, but they're not really. Right. So my... What's the, what's your apartment number? Uh, thir- my, Oh, gosh, I don't know. I get my mail to P.O. Box. I, I think I'm 1541. But uh, I don't need anyone to come up. I was just wondering, is that a thing? Like, the whole expanding foam? I have no idea. Oh. Well, I want to call the maintenance guy. He probably, I mean, if you're having problems... Why don't you call the right? maintenance guy? I ain't, I ain't your damn secretary that, lady. That's your job, dude. Uh, no, that's not my job. It's your job. No, I'm just a leasing agent. Wait, you're not in the apartment itself? No. You're not here on the property? No. Oh, hang up the phone. I need someone to be emotionally invested in the property so they'll yell at me for the toilet thing. I'm telling you, you shouldn't be doing that, though. 1541? Yeah, yeah, but don't worry about it. You know what? Like, it's fine. My toilet's Is fine. Is it a prank call? No. Why would it be a prank? Because I'm going to have to, like, t- um, tell my maintenance guy what you've been doing. Well, is the water free? It's not your maintenance guy. You're not even on the property. Let me see something real fast. But, like, is the water, do we pay for the water here? 
Is this a prank call? No, it's not. You already asked that. It's, <laughs> I just want to know if we pay for the water. Because I've had my toilet set up on an auto flush system for about seven months now where it just flushes itself constantly. It's a, Why would you do that? It's, it's, well, it's an Arduino thing, and it detects uh, when it hears a flush, and when it hears a flush, it counts. This is obviously a prank call because nobody lives in 1541. Well, maybe I gave you the wrong apartment number to throw you off. Did you ever think of that? All right. Can you have some time on your hands? What? You're... What was that? Is our toilet an AI toilet? <laughs> that was her hanging up the whole time. The only thing I don't have today is ideas. You guys need to give me some ideas. What should I say to these apartment people? The only idea I have lately is uh, expanding foam. Tim, this is James. How can I help you? Hey, I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Sure. Uh, I've been going up into the attic, you know, like uh, up above okay. the ceilings, and I've got a greenhouse up there, and someone keeps unplugging my LED lights. That's weird. I know. Who would be doing that? I didn't even know you could get into attics, to be honest with you. Well, you can't. I'm not supposed to be. Uh, but you can get up, like if you take a, if you get a ladder and you go up to those, mm -hmm. um, those hatches on the side of the building. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can just walk right in there. It's really easy. Then I can pull up the ladder with me. Are there other ways, other ways to get up there? Uh, no, I was thinking about making a hatch in my ceiling because a uh, part of the garden is right on top of my apartment, but I've also put it on top of other people's apartments too. That's what I'm saying. Is there any access from other apartments or anything that somebody could get up there? Oh, I don't think so. I haven't seen any. Oh. Somebody must know you're going up there, man, because I'll be honest with you, man, this doesn't have time to go in there and fool with that. Well, I had to run the plug um, out, out the side of the window, out the vent, and, and sneak it around the side of the house and plug it into an outside outlet. Oh. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Okay. Well, I don't know who would be doing that. And... What building are you in? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I don't really want to know like where my secret garden is. Oh, I got you. <laughs> my okay. Is the um, owner of the property round? Uh, well, we're owned by a corporation, so. Uh, yeah, but you know, like the one that's the most, the, the one, the one that gets, uh, the one that's super uptight about the property. You know that one. Ooh. No, I don't know that one. Uh, Shoot. our property manager's here. Yeah, that's the one. No, oh, he's not uptight, though, man. He's pretty chill. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Hang on. Give me one second. Someone who, just, someone who doesn't just laugh at me the whole time. That'd be nice. Thank you for holding. This is Josh. How can I help you? Hello. Is this a different person than I was talking to before? Yeah, this is Josh from Property Manager. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone, someone's been stealing my crops and shutting off my lights. My LED okay, lights what, up in the attic. Wait, okay, well, you're not supposed to have anything in the attic. Well, I already do, though. Like, and it's I've, I've had it there for a couple of years, and it doesn't bother anybody. I just go up there through the, the side entrance on the, you know, up by the, the roof with the ladder. But somebody else must be going up there, and they're unplugging my lights, and they're stealing my crops. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know what, what I could do to help you since it's not supposed to be up there in the first place. Okay, well, can I put cameras up there? Uh, I mean, you shouldn't have anything up there. You should remove whatever it is. Well, can I, like, I have the electrical lines um, coming out the attic hatch and along the side of the house where they can't be seen that well and just plugged in outside. And I was just wondering, can I, can I just run it through my ceiling? Can I just put a hole in my ceiling and run the cord down into my bedroom? No, no. Here, here's the thing is I, I, I need you to remove whatever's up there because now we're going to be looking for it. And if we find it, we're going to remove it. Well, no, don't be looking for it. Like, and don't remove it. It's it, like, that's expensive crops. Saying, it, it, here's the thing is it's a violation of the lease. You can't have stuff up in the uh, area that's not yours. Why does your phone sound so terrible? Are you on a cordless? No, no I'm on the office phone. Metro PCS. Yeah, I, I don't know, cause like, like, can I put a periscope up in my ceiling and just look at them that way? If you don't want me to put a camera up there, no, that's that's not acceptable either. Well, who would be going up there? Can I start sleeping up there? 
No, can't that's, do that either. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start sleeping up there, and I'm going to catch who's ever going up there. I'm going to kick his ass. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I, I if, if if you don't have anything else besides you know asking about stuff in, in the attic that you're not supposed to be in, I I really don't have anything I can. Help okay. You with. Well, you don't need to be like that about it. I'm a I'm a good tenant. I pay my rent on time. So just leave my I understand. Leave I, my garden just, alone. Okay. All right. Well, have a good day. Can I set traps up there? No, you you shouldn't get there in the first place. Because they're not supposed to be up there. So if I set like a, a trap that was lethal, you are you are also not supposed to be up there. Yeah, but I would know where the traps are. I'm not an idiot. But they're not supposed to be up there. So if I set like a lethal trap, they couldn't sue you or anything, right? Or me? You're not supposed to be up there. And if we find out where you're up there, you're in a violation of your lease, and we will have to send you a violation letter and could potentially result in an eviction. Can I, so I would, my recommendation would be to get whatever you have up there out. I'm just talking about like we find it. home alone style traps. I won't kill anybody. Right. Listen, I, this is, this is not going anywhere. I'll just have, uh, please remove whatever you have up there. If we find it, you will be in violation of your lease. We will have, I'm to just, I'm just thinking eviction. like a flamethrower next to the hatch. You know, just okay, like, in the, like in the movies. <laughs> See? See that property manager? He was a little uptight. That other guy does not know him that well. I hope he's laughing right now. But he's pretty nice about it until I started mentioning lethal traps. Yeah, Riddle, he's probably the one stealing my shit. Well, Akron's working out pretty good so far, so thank you, uh, you know, that one guy, Dragonmere, for suggesting Akron. All right, what's next? What am I doing next? Quick, everybody. Don't make me just do another expanding phone call. Apartments. This is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hey, Lindsay. Uh, this is Kevin at the Highland Square Apartments. Hi. Um, you, you know where that is, right? Like down on Market Street? Um, vaguely. I'm not. I mean, I'm still learning. Oh, the area yeah. Here. Vaguely. <laughs> well, what's up with you guys just stealing our thing? What thing? You know, just our whole thing. Stealing what? You're just stealing our style. Like everything that we do. You guys suddenly do. It's like you're just spying on us and copying everything we do. And why don't you guys just come up with your own thing? I'm I'm not aware of us stealing any ideas. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you better put the apartment manager on then. Okay, hold on one moment, please. Okay. I total second. Was that a hang up? I, I blame Total Second for that. That was Tim Riggie's idea. I want to try that one more time at least. Woods, this is Sandy. Can I help you? Hey, Sandy. Um, I, I, this this is Roy over at the Highland Square Apartments. Yes. Uh huh. And you you know where we are, right down on Market Street. Yes, sort of. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Why are you guys always copying us? Why are we what? You're always copying us. Like everything we do, you guys like do the same thing. Well, just act like, like it's what? You're acting like everything we you do is your own idea. Like every freaking little thing. Like we'll put up a for rent sign. You guys put up a for rent sign. Okay. Well, we're we don't have for rent signs. We're over in. You Cuyahoga know what Falls. I mean? What? We're in Cuyahoga Falls. Yeah, I know that. Like we're down there, more centrally located. Okay. Now we have you on camera, like coming over here and snooping around, and then you go back I to your place and what? I think you've got us confused with somebody else. Honestly. I don't think so. Like, why? Why you guys just copy? Why don't you come up with your own thing? There's no reason to be. Well, I'll tell you what. Copying. If you would like to discuss this with our manager, I can have him give you a call tomorrow. Well, where is he? Why can't he talk to me right in this minute? He's not in the office at the moment. Okay, well, is it him that's doing all the copying, or is it you? Or is he just sending you I, over to... I don't think snap, it's either one of us. ...to snap pictures and stuff? Now, what's your name? Like, uh, this is Roy. Like, every time we mow our lawn, you guys mow your lawn immediately after. Like, you're trying to make... You're trying to make carbon copy of our place. Now, I just don't see oh. why you can't just do your own thing. Well, I'm not sure who you have us confused with. Well, you don't have to be a smart mouth. I'm not. I'm not trying I'm to. Kind be. of a smart mouth. Do you want to give me your phone number? I can have my manager call you. Um, tell your manager that uh, you did something really smart, and you just looked at the uh, caller ID on the display and wrote down that number, and 
Um, that's my number. Okay. It'll be easier. For me. Okay, there she goes. I don't know. I like the idea of Tim Rigging, but I'm not having much luck with it. Damn it. Bust. Hey, I'm a resident here at the apartments. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I'm a resident here. I have a question. You're a resident here? Yes. Okay, what's your name? Roy. Okay, you're not a resident here at West. Yes, I am. Don't try to give me that. Like, I just wouldn't be in the computer, that's all. I, I have a roommate. Do you know Harold? What's the address? It's, it's, well, no, you should just know, since you seem to know everybody here. Do you know Harold? Give me the address. It doesn't... I just needed to ask a general question related to, like, all of the apartments here. What's the question? Uh, it's about the gas oven. I'm afraid of gas. So I'm going to convert my, my gas stove to charcoal. No, you're not. Not it's, here at this building. Oh, no, I am. Cause I, 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 I no, think you're a, not at this building, sir. Listen, I don't know who you are. And uh, nobody here by that name has a roommate. Listen here, lady. I, 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 I think it's a bad idea to have a gas line just coming into your house like that. Honestly, it seems a bit <laughs> stupid. I don't so, even know who you are, so you can come to the office and talk to me in person. I won't have a gas you're line. Not gonna convert an oven. I'm not going to die of of you know gas inhalation. I'm trying to sleep. Okay. We have CO detectors, and you're not going to convert no none of our ovens. Like I trust those. Who made those? Probably people in China. I'm getting rid of this gas oven. Do we have a gas? No, you're not. Oh yes, I am. I'm going to convert it to charcoal. It'll be the same oven. I'm just going to convert it. You know what? You have a problem. You need to come to the office and talk to me face-to-face. -face. Okay. Well, I was just trying to ask a general question, and you're being a total well, jerk about it. I'm telling you you're not going to change it. Change what? I said I'm telling you you're not going to convert a gas oven to charcoal here. No, I looked That's up, not going to happen. I looked up on YouTube how to do it. Like, do you know what material? I don't care what you looked up. You're not going to do it here at this building. Do you know what material they make gas hoses out of? You know, I don't even think you have the right building, honey. Well, I never told you a building. Are you trying to trick me into telling you the building? No, I'm not, because I really don't care, because you're not going to change anything here. Okay, well, I'm going to change something here at Hi. 429 Hi. Avenue. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> She's getting upset about that. Uh, thank you, whoever suggested that. I forget. I'm sorry. I attached my refrigerator to the wall sideways for easier access. <laughs> I want to do that for real. What a great idea. Like, what would that do? Like, I know you're not supposed to put compressors sideways for some reason, or they, they say you're not supposed to. Would it do something over time? Because I don't want to cause any problems. Thank you for calling Alpha to Place. Please know all calls are recorded <laughs> for quality assurance and training purposes. I like your idea, Big Y. Something addict. One. For all other calls, please. But I don't want to start a. I don't want to start a, <laughs> a panic. <laughs> like you're gonna get the entire apartment evacuated. All right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, speed test. I keep hearing terrible noises. Test. When I'm trying to make calls, I should have I should have perfect internet speeds. Yeah. Three three millisecond ping time. Eight hundred upload. What's the download? Why does it take so long? Come on. Yeah, everything's fine. I don't know why half of my calls sound like that. It's not my fault. <laughs> Is taxidermy allowed in my apartment? <laughs> what if it's what if it's not quite all the way dead yet? It'll be taxidermy soon. I'm just doing it while he's alive easier 
Good afternoon, Five West Group. This is Pam. Can I help you? Hey, Pam. Um, I'm a resident here at the apartments. At what what unit, hon? Um, well, I'm at 760 Drive. It's kind of a general okay. question. But I just I don't know if you need my unit number. I mounted my fridge on the wall sideways. You know, just for easier access. Okay. So it's it's a uh, horizontal now instead of on the floor, and it's mounted on the wall. Okay, I've never heard of that, but okay. Yeah, well, I thought I was being innovative, but did you know that a refrigerator is heavier than a wall? Well, I would assume so. I wouldn't. So have what thought happened? So. I just I thought like between all the studs and the insulation and the, you know, it's nailed up there and everything. I just thought it would s stick. So what happened? Uh, the whole wall fell over. And like all my fridge stuff spoiled while I was at work. So, well, yeah. Is the apartment going to pay me back for that? Well, it wasn't really our fault though. You mounted it on the wall and it fell. I know. I thought I was being so innovative. Oh, it, it, uh, no. I, I, what I, unit are you in? Ma'am, I have a bad back. So when I have to bend over to get stuff off the bottom shelf and stuff, like out of, out of the the salad drawers and stuff, that's really hard. Uh -huh. So uh, side, wow. sideways seemed like the way to go. All right, what unit are you in at seven sixty? Uh, number eight. Mm, but, there is no number eight. I know. I was trying to trick you because I don't. I'm in number five. I just don't want to get in trouble because I'm going to put this all back up. I know how to drywall. I'll take care of it. But like it didn't say any, it didn't say anything in the rules about you know not putting your fridge up on the wall uh, horizontally. <laughs> well, I don't know that we could. I think the lease would be like three thousand pages if we tried to write down the do not. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that could get really lengthy. So you're saying that I did find a loophole? Um, no. <laughs> No. Do you have any idea All why right, the so neighbors? Well, the neighbor, like, there's a bunch of neighbors, and several of them have said this, and I think they're just messing with me. But they say every time I bend over, I'm winking my butthole at them. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Devin. You made her hang up on me. And Tim Riggie's uh, horizontal refrigerator idea was going so well. I should have told her how hard it was to pour a glass of water down out of the door. <laughs> It just goes all over the place. It sucks. White Oaks. What? White Oaks. Oh hey, I'm a I'm a tenant here. Okay. How you doing? I'm good. Have there been any complaints about the LED lights? Uh, LED lights. What do you mean? Well, you know, everyone has those LED lights now. And I have been um, welding in my apartment a lot. I, I got a 220 volt welder for Christmas, and I unplugged the oven and I plugged it in where the oven used to go. And it, like every time I use it, it pretty much just makes every LED light in my apartment flicker. And I know the next door neighbor was talking about the same thing with hers. And I looked outside. What apartment I, are you in? I could see some other porch lights like flickering. So I didn't know, like, if I should maybe just only do my welding at certain hours. What apartment are you in? Six. I'm sorry? Five. Do you have a number for what your apartment is? Number five. Okay, number five what building? Oh, I don't know what building it is. I know, like, all the lights are name? flickering. It's like the first building as you come in. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Like, I don't want anyone to come over. I was just wondering, like, has anyone been complaining about the LED lights? Because I was thinking maybe I'll install, like, a filter. A filter on the electrical lines. It it does matter what building you're in because there might be something wrong with the entire building might be the issue. Well, I think it's probably, you know, it's an arc welder. 
like a super high power. And you're not supposed to be running stuff like that in the apartments anyway. Well, in, in, you're not I'm, supposed to unplug the stove to plug something else in. The stove's supposed to be where it's supposed to be at for that reason. We put that there because that's what we want there. No, I sold the stove on next door because it was in the way of my arc welder. I needed a place to set the arc welder because it's a large machine. And I've just been doing a lot of welding in the living room. Okay. So um, it's like, it's pretty much, it's I'm using the same amount of voltage. It's like the same as the oven. It's just an arc welder instead of an oven now. Is there a purpose for your call? Um, yeah, I was wanting to find out. I seriously, has, I seriously feel like you're just calling me being ignorant. Ma'am, don't call me ignorant. I didn't call you a fucking bitch, did I, when you were being a fucking bitch? Is there anything else that you need? Um, well, were there any complaints about the LED light bulbs? Because uh, they're definitely all flickering every time I fire up my arc welder. No, not at all. Can you tell me what your purpose is? Can you tell me what your purpose is? Uh, you first. I have a whole lot of purposes in life. Name one. Name one. Is there, a, is there something I can help you with? Would you be able to help me fill up my water bed? Oh, sure. Tell me what apartment you're in. I'll be right over. Okay. I just don't have enough hose. Like, do you guys have enough hose to string in the window? Yeah, there she goes. Thanks, Milkbox, for that idea, and uh, uh, Reaper Diamond for the welder idea. <laughs> I like that one. Is that the right kind of welder to say? An arc welder? I don't know my welding machines. I've been trying to learn about them. <laughs> well, that guy, that lady had lots of purposes, you guys. She didn't have just one. She's very confident in her many, many purposes. So, hey, everybody. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up from a prank call show. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Thank you for calling. This is Melinda. How may I assist you? Oh, my God, Melinda. Thank God you picked up. I'm a resident here. Oh, hi. How can I help you? Oh, um, well, there's just this thing. Uh, I'm going to be doing a fire drill tonight. I'm a, okay. I'm a volunteer fireman. Okay. So I'm going to be setting off the fire alarms for all of the buildings here on the complex about two in the morning. <gasps> okay. But it's cool. I'm a volunteer fireman and I'll be organizing it all and I'll be telling people where, where to go and I'm, I'm printing up fire drill plans and everything. So, uh, are, are you guys here at 2 in the morning? Um, I mean, I live on the property, okay. and so does Marcy. Okay, you guys are going to have to get up at 2 in the morning and set a good example by uh, leaving your apartments. And we're going we're gonna to walk uh, an entire block away and, and just stand there for one hour, and uh, nobody needs to go back to the apartments for exactly one hour. For an hour? I'll be playing the fire truck sounds out of a boombox. Okay, this sounds really strange to me. No, I'm a, I'm a vo volunteer uh, fireman. Okay. Uh, I've been doing that for three years now. Okay. So I'm holding my own fire drill tonight. As a volunteer fireman, I have the right to do that. And I'm picking okay. two in the morning for the fire alarms to all go off simultaneously. Okay. And you're saying everybody has to walk a block away and stand out in the cold for an hour? Yeah, I want them, uh, like, uh, I don't want them to be, like, line of sight to the apartments. Okay. Um, well, Marcy is out of the office, but I'm going to text her and let her know what's going on. Yeah, because, let, let uh, her know to sleep in clothes tonight, because we don't want to see her, like, coming out in a sheet or towel or something. Okay. All right. And I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? R Roy. And okay. at the end, I'm going to set myself on fire and all the people have to put me out. But it's just a, you know, it's like a fun thing. It's like a trick. Uh, you know how stunt people set themselves on fire? 
Like, like that's not funny. That's not funny at all. I'm going to be like, everybody um, throw your hot chocolates at me now. As soon as I light myself on fire. I, I really don't feel this conversation is uh, accurate. I, I mean, are you pulling a trick on me or what? Here? No, ma'am, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm a Christian and a volunteer fire department man. Okay. Okay, because, yeah, the whole setting somebody on fire, my father just had third-degree burns and was in the <sighs> hospital and had a skin graft surgery. Ma'am, so, I did not do that. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay. And I'm sorry to hear about your dad. Okay. All right. Well, let me give it. Marcy a call and just run this by her. Okay. Tell her to wear clothes tonight. All right. I will call her right now. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Uh huh. Bye bye. You forgot to get my apartment number, but whatever. <laughs> maybe she's going to call me back. Oh, I'm even calling from a. Oh, yeah. I'm calling from a number that can be called back. Hey, it's been an hour and two minutes now. You know what that means. That means I need to scroll through this list here gotta be a good one in here somewhere yeah how about this one we're, we're taking a break everybody two or three songs uh everybody go smoke weed and pee and uh grab yourselves another pepsi and you know, do all the things i'll be right back love you all alone in your pajamas You. Come stay a while You can make shapes and objects with your sounds Transmissions from a smile Folk Steve Dave, you gotta watch the video The video's the best part That was one of Daisy's favorite songs Rest in peace Daisy Also rest in peace Trevor Moore <laughs> And rest in peace Rev Did I mention that at the beginning of the show? I just found out that Rev died Like a month ago And I know most people probably don't know Rev. He's like an old school prankster. He used to do a show a lot. I think maybe back in the Carlito and Katie K days. So that's pretty sad. It's mostly sad that it took me a month to to notice it. But yep, no more Rev. Rest in peace, Rev. He has an active Discord. Well, somebody's been logging into his uh, Instagram at least and, you know, just saying, hey, you can remember Rev by blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, there was a thing. There was going to be like a YouTube memorial maybe tonight. Or was it tomorrow? Oh crap, my my feed just updated. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where to... I'll, like, I'll try to post this stuff later. But rest in peace, Rev. I don't even remember what his pranks are like. <laughs> I just know him as a person. Oh, he has a Discord Discord. Okay, I didn't know that. We apologize. We're unable to personally take your call. Please. I should just do hotels like everybody else. They always pick up. I could just do these same premises at hotels. Be like, yeah, I set up a garden up in my up, up, up in the crawl space, <laughs> the ceiling, whatever it's called. Setting up my arc welder up here. I had to uh, tap into another phase next door. I put soap in the back of the toilet and I'm flushing it to wash my jeans, and it's stuck. We are unable to take your call personally. I, I don't even know what that means, but I like it. I'll try to do that next. Okay, this one's going to pick up for sure. Oh, I'm going to call back from... Uh, oh, wait. I don't want to hang up on this. Let me put him... Oh, whatever. I'll pick up. Hello? Yeah, hi. I just missed your call a minute ago. This is Marcia giving you a call back from the Embassy and Diplomat Apartment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I live here. Okay. Great. Uh, I put I put a bunch of soap in the back of my toilet, and I've been flushing it over and over to wash my jeans, but now it's stuck. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, I put soap in the back of my toilet. You know, the back of the toilet tank, the upper part, the upper decker part. Yeah, I'm listening to you, sir. Okay. Well, I've been I've been uh, just flushing over and over to wash my jeans, and now it's stuck. So what do I do to unstick it? I'm sorry. This is a joke, right? No, I wouldn't kid about this. Oh, okay. All righty. 
Well, I think it is. I don't think this is a true call. Well, you know what? So, I think I think you're a joke, ma'am. You know, you know how to oh, do your job. You're not you. even going to help me. Thank you. You son yeah, of a thank bitch. Thank you. Well, people don't wash their jeans in the back of the toilet tank. And uh, stuff, maybe so. I do. Maybe I used to be a gypsy, and that was yeah. one of our one of our life maybe hacks. Maybe you're a very odd, strange person and stuff. And I'm going to let you go now. And you take care, and good luck with all that. Don't you want to talk and to? I know an... you don't live here either. Bye bye. I do too. <laughs> wow, I just got called an odd, strange person. <laughs> Ask her what brand she smokes. It's too late, and she called me, so I can't call her back. I don't remember her number. All right, two numbers left. I mean, two apartment buildings left. I don't know what to do. Uh, at, like, what, what's next? What's my next idea? Uh, the the jeans didn't quite work out. I do kind of want to do the arc welder again. Oh, what? I regret jumping says the show needs to be over soon. Sorry, everybody. I regret jumping is saying that the show's over. Uh, I wanted to go longer, but hello? Hello? Why are you just sitting there like a creep? I blame I regret jumping for that. <laughs> that was completely his fault. Thank you for your call. Please press 1 to be connected to the party you're calling. I did not have to do that. This call will be recorded for quality assurance. Did I have to press 1? Thank you for calling. This is Mandy. Can I help you? Hey, I called a minute ago and I was talking to my friend. I regret, regret jumping and someone was just sitting on the phone like a creep. You were talking to someone here? No, no, no. I was talking to someone in my chat room. Over on... Okay. Uh, Are you looking at an apartment? Printcast.com. Uh, no, I, I live here already. Uh, I've been using my arc okay. wel welder up in my apartment, you know? Uh, it's a 220 volt device, and uh, I plugged it in where my oven goes. So I put my oven in the closet. I hope that's okay. What's an arc welder? Uh, I've been welding metal stuff inside my house. In your apartment? Yeah, I've been d doing a lot of welding. I got an arc welder for Christmas. It's um, I, I was just I was just wondering, like, has anyone complained about their lights? Uh, it, it seems to have a weird effect on LED lights. Which apartment and are you in? Which apartment number? Yeah, what or, apartment number? Or, are you? or or do you mean which apartment building? No, what's your apartment number? Oh, um, five. There isn't a five. What's your name? <sighs> Ma'am, I just needed to find out if anyone's been complaining. I use a mask, so it's cool, and I have those glasses, so I don't go blind. So I'm not going to hurt myself, so stop worrying, please. What's your name? Roy. And your last name? I, I don't need anyone to come up. Like I just wondered if anyone's... I just want to know who I'm speaking with. It's Roy. I'm Roy. I live here. I was just um, wondering... Is anyone complaining about their lights flickering? Because every time I use my arc welder, my lights flicker. And I also... Ma'am? Shit. I'm going to tell her about the toilet thing, too. I'm going to mix it all up. Holiday Express. How can I help you? Is this the front desk? This is the front desk. Okay. I brought my arc welder up to my room. I'm sorry, you brought your what to the room? My arc welder. Your arc welder, okay. Yeah, I've been welding stuff in the room. And I've noticed it's making all the lights out in the hallway, like, you know, go dim and bright and dim. and Like, every time I use it. Like, right, I'm assuming it's probably because of the amount of power that's being used for it. Yeah, because, you know, there wasn't a 220 volt socket up here. So what I had to do is I plugged it into one, one of the 110 sockets. And then I asked my next door neighbor, you know, there's a door connecting in between our rooms. I asked him if he could okay. plug it in over at his place, and he did. And that seems to be providing the the 220 volts we need, but it's making lights flicker. And then there's a weird thing going on with the toilet. What weird thing going on with the toilet? Um, it's also related to the arc welder. It's playing AM radio stations through its 
through the water. Like I had the tank open because I was trying to wash my jeans and I put soap in the back of the tank in the upper deck. And whenever I use the arc welder, I can actually hear AM radio stations coming out of the, like out of the water in the tank. Yeah, I'm not going to, I have no idea how to handle this situation. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. So I'm not I, sure. I can, I can talk to maintenance and have them take a look at something that's going on and cut the water off. Maybe. Has anyone complained about the lights? I haven't had any complaints as of late, no. Can you just switch off? I also just clocked in maybe 30 minutes ago. Can you switch all so your... How long have you been welding? Uh, well, since late last night, actually. But maybe everyone was sleeping. Uh, the people next door, they heard it. But they said... They're like, well, we met you, so... You know, we just... We didn't say anything. They said it was pretty loud, though, and kept them up. You know, because it's like... Psh, psh, gotcha. psh, 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 psh. You know, when you're arc welding those metal bits. Mm-hmm. That's been doing a lot of welding. And my sink water? Like, we're supposed to drink out of just the bathroom water, right? Out of those little plastic cups? Well, there is a water fountain, actually, on the first floor. Okay, but there's not one up here. No, there isn't. There's only one... I don't know why. There's three floors, but there's only one water fountain at the at the end of the first floor hallway next to the gym. Okay, well, my sink water, it tastes like iron since I started using the arc welder. And that's all the way on the other side of the room. Uh, but also, the its ions are positively charged, which is kind of odd. So then, would you want me to just have maintenance come through and then cut the water off while you're finishing up? That way it's not playing the AM radio station through the toilet? Uh, I'm not going to be finishing up anytime soon. I just oh, didn't know if I was bothering okay. other, other people, and I won't do it late at night again. Well, I appreciate that. Um, but I haven't had any complaints, no. No, no one said anything just yet. Okay. Is the man- um, what room are you in? Is the manager there? No, there's no supervisor here currently. Shit. Shit. Motherfucking shit. Shit. So what room are you in currently? Oh, I'm not going to tell. I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I'm not going to get you in trouble, but I'm now curious considering you're in the hotel. You called from your phone. Yeah. Hey, do you know what AM radio through a toilet's called? What's it called? PM. Do you get it? (laughs) I do. That was for my regret jumping in the chat room. One more time, I didn't catch that. Oh, I, re- I regret jumping. He's in the chat room. That's a joke he told. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm hang- Will you hang up the phone? I was waiting for you. It's kind of my job to wait until everyone has finished concluding what they have to say. I have officially concluded my statement, and I'm ready for you to hang up the phone. Thank you, sir. All right, well, I'll let you get back to your arc welding. Hang it up right now. All right. Just hang that thing up. Hit the button. Release the line. I don't know where else to go with that one. <laughs> Nobody believes the arc welding thing as much as I love it. Thanks for that idea, Reaper Diamond. What do I do next? Call more hotels? Okay. Oh, I wanted to do that, Reaper Diamond, the hoarders thing. But I'm out of apartments. I guess I could... I could go a little west. Thanks for calling the f- Jenny. How can I help you? Hey, Jenny. Jenny, hello? How can I help you? Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a resident here at the hotel. I've been staying here for a couple days. Okay. And, um, you know, like you have the hotel Wi-Fi? Yes. So I've, I've run a bunch of uh, hacking utilities on the Wi-Fi. And most of the guests in here, their computers are not secure. So is there any way I could just talk to them on the way out and, you know, try and maybe I could offer my services to help secure their computers? Because I can pretty much get into everyone's computers in this hotel. I've done so much hacking. So they'll actually go to their corporate office. Why the corporate office? These people are local. Because there's something on property... 
Yeah, it's something on property we don't handle. That goes through the corporate office. Ma'am, there's there's this one um, girl's computer I'm in right now, and I can see her on her webcam, and she's naked. And she's smoking a cigarette in her room. So are are there smoking? Oh, you're in her webcam now? Yeah, yeah, I'm watching her on my computer. What room are you in? I'm watching her on my computer screen, and she's like... Okay, what, what room are you in? No, ma'am, are there smoking rooms here? Because if there's smoke well, room, are you in? if there's smoking rooms, I want to be transferred to a smoking room. Well, unfortunately, that's illegal for you to be into our webcam. So at that point, we would either reach out to the authorities or ask you to leave. No, don't reach out to the authorities. I, I just I'm 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 looking out for the the you know my fellow customer here, my fellow hotel guest. And for the if you're watching a woman through her webcam while she's undressed. Smoking a cigarette in a room. It's just her top is undressed. Her bottom, like she's got underwear on. So it's not that, that big. Makes it okay? well, I don't know. I walk around with my top off when I'm at the pool and stuff. So calm down. Um, are you in the hotel right now? Yes. Yes, I'm in my room and I have an arc welder. What and I was looking. Sorry, what? What room are you in? Ma'am, this seems like the hotel's fault. Because shouldn't you be offering secure connections? <laughs> okay. I love doing that one so much. I can see some girls' boobs. They do not like that. Like, why? Why are you watching? This show has been sponsored to you by NordVPN. If you need a VPN to protect yourself while you're out staying in a hotel so people don't see you and your boobs. Then uh, get NordVPN, nordvpn.com slash cactus, cactus, cactus. Thanks for reminding me, RMS. Seventeen minutes left. Sixteen minutes left. What are we doing? Hey, did everybody catch uh, Devin's show last night? I was on there. Not for very long. But uh, what's his face was on there? That one guy. One guy. What's his name? I can't remember. Fuck. Anyway, yeah, I was on the show too. It was pretty fun. We did things. We made calls. People got angry at at us. Dust Bernadette, why couldn't I think of that? It's because he never shows up for my shows anymore. Because I don't do shows anymore. That's what it is. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Comfort Inn. How can I help you? Hey, uh, I'm I'm staying here at the hotel right now. Okay. And I found someone's keys in the hallway. So I'm out in the parking lot right now. I'm trying the keys in everybody's car. And I'm starting to think maybe it's somebody's keys. Like maybe they didn't bring that car. You know, maybe they took a vacation and the car, you know, the keys that I'm trying, that's that's like their car that they Who left. Who am I there. speaking with? Uh, my name is Roy. Okay, why would you be trying keys to people's cars? Because I want to I wanna help the owners, you know, find their keys. So I'm just going through the parking lot and I'm trying every single door. And I think I'm going to... Okay, but that's understandably probably too nice. You would think you would just turn them into the front desk and if someone lost their keys... They'll come ask the front desk. I don't think you what? should be what if they don't? trying people's car doors. What if they don't? Because one of these keys is the key to the city. And, like, are there any, like, important people like that here? Like, anyone that's staying here, have they been awarded the key to the city by the mayor? Sir, I think you should just turn those keys into the front desk. Okay, well, as soon as, like, I've already tried all the cars on the side. I'm trying all the ones in the back now. Okay, well, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. I think you should just turn them in and to the it, front desk. If I find I'm the right gonna one, I'm going to I'm gonna get in and I'm going to drive it. I'm going to drive it. Damn. Oh, I, I want to just tell my whole story. Oh, I should just do hotel calls forever. I don't do enough hotel calls. I think that's the last show I did, isn't it? Like, the one where I figured out how to direct dial rooms to some Nevada hotel and that lady just gave me every single room. Hi, thanks for calling Extended Stay America. Extended Stay, how can I help you? Hey, 
Uh, are the room numbers here three digits or four digits or like five digits? Uh, three digits, like two or one type thing. Weird, because I tried two sixteen and it's like. Uh, oh yeah, that, we. Oh yeah, we do got the even numbers here. I was trying to. Oh, even numbers. I was trying to direct dial rooms. Uh, you mean transfer you to a room? Well, do you know one that has somebody in it? I'm with tech support. I just need to test out the line. Oh, come on. So they have three digits. Here, let me write that down too. But what? Does some hotel hotels just have um just even rooms? That that's not right. That can't be right. Thank you for calling Bradison. This is Joe speaking. How may I help you? Hey Joe. Uh, I'm a I'm I'm like uh you know, staying here. I'm a guest. Okay. And I found someone's keys, so I've been walking around the parking lot trying the keys in all of the cars. Like the the car key, it doesn't have like markings to tell what kind of car it is. So I'm just trying all the cars. You can drop at uh, the desk. Oh no, no! I'm just trying all the cars. I'm trying. I'm seeing if I can find which one it opens, and then I can go through their stuff and get their name out of the registration or their glove box or something. Hmm. So I'm just, I'm going to try all the cars until I find it and then I'm going to get in and I'm going to move their car to the other side of the building and that way they'll know that someone found, found their keys. You can't allow to use somebody's move the cars. Oh no, I have you their, can't. I have their key, I have their keys, ma'am. I understand, but you can, you have to give us the key. Okay. That's I, under your name? I'm not going to take the key. I'm not going to take the car out of the parking lot. I'm just going to move it move it around i'm gonna move it to another spot like that's a, your car vehicles no not my car i i don't know whose car it oh. is i'm looking for then it you can't allow to you I'm, can't allow to i'm trying i'm, I'm trying all car. the cars in the parking lot with this key that i found so you can you have to dr uh, drop at the desk sir drop the car off at the desk no 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 drop at the that key at the desk well let me try and find out which one it belongs to first and then i'm gonna move it you can't you cannot move, sir. Ma'am. Cannot. Ma'am. I'm staying here currently. I and understand. I, but you hey, cannot hey, move hey, that hey. car. I'm I'm here from Boston and I'm a valet driver oh. in Boston. So I I'm used to driving other people's cars. I understand, but you can't touch who's, who's anybody's just, car to drive and park someone? and move that different car. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna move it. I'm gonna drive it around should I take it to McDonald's for safekeeping? No. Is that what you're saying? I need to take Take it to McDonald's. That key you have to drop at the desk because you found it at the uh, the our property. Okay, right? I will. Yes, I will do that. All right, I will. You. As soon as I move their car to the other side of the hotel, I'll bring it to the desk. And what's your name? Uh, Roy. And where are you located? Right? Roy, and I'm staying here at the hotel. Should what I room number? should I let the air out of the tires so it doesn't accidentally roll away? What room number you're in? Ma'am, should I let the air out of the tire so it doesn't accidentally roll away? No, you can't do anything. Okay, I, I just have to move it then? Just move it over? You do not have to move that vehicle from the parking lot to other spot. You have the key to drop at the desk. That's yeah, it. Have I don't to have to, but I can, right? What do you mean? Well, you're saying I don't have to move it, but if I want to, I can? You cannot. Or otherwise, I will call the cops. Oh, don't call the cops. I'm not taking okay. it out of the parking lot unless you Okay, then you don't have to touch anything to anybody. That, Tell me to. You know how there's a college behind the hotel? You know, you know the college behind the hotel? Okay. Can I park it over there? Where are you at located right now? Well, I'm just, I'm walking around the hotel parking lot looking at all the cars. Okay, you can do that way. I, I can. Okay, I'll, I'm going to do that then. But <laughs> She said I can. <laughs> can I key my number another door? So they can call me. That's a great idea. Guess what, everybody? I'm done. I'm leaving. Bye. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Hey, Brad. I'm a new listener, uh, and I just called to say I love your show. 
And I'll keep on listening and keep doing your thing, man. Thanks. Peace and love, bruh. All right, bye. Hey, Bradley. What you doing? You know. It's Justin from Western Rockies. Um, hey, I had a question for you. You know, so Why does anyone ask, what are you doing on a voicemail? That's my question. The silly question. You know, sometimes it's convenient for me to watch your content like a hobo on YouTube. Oh. And it's, I watched videos from like 2017, 2016, and 2018. Because like yep. YouTube like suggested it to me. And you were going like really hardcore at that time. And what? so like there's ads and stuff on those videos oh yeah and so it's like i I, didn't do that that was all youtube they gave me no choice on that they just sent out an email one day and they're like guess what we're gonna make every video like all 700 of them or whatever we're gonna put ads on all of those and we'll take care of putting them in the middle you know we'll just do it ourselves we'll put them at a reasonable spacing all throughout the video and i guess for them reasonable is every five minutes or something and i can't go back and take all that out that's like a ton of work so my money you know my youtube money did go up from that so that's nice but i don't do that on the new videos i only put the ads on the very end because i'm bad at monetizing getting that money or wait what and so it's like are you getting that money yeah or is that like from like the music well you know if i use copyrighted music in there and they put a shit ton of ads all over my video then i probably don't get any of that but i guess if i didn't use copyrighted stuff in a show then i get my share of the money so that's nice evil vampires getting the money claiming like on the video and stuff or are you getting the money because i watch the video terrible terrible videos ads on those on those videos if you're getting the money so just let me know okay bye and i'm gonna guess that i probably get the money on half of them or you know like limited money because youtube always marks my stuff as inappropriate for advertisers so i get less money than most youtube people would where they all bleep out all their curse words and stuff like little bitches i'm surprised youtube even lets me monetize anything hey brad dr slow Hey. Formerly Dirty Dr. Dan. Hey. I haven't left a voicemail in a while because I think you keep deleting them, but I might be wrong. Maybe I'll I do not. not. Um, and I'm curious. I mean, unless they suck or I can't hear you, sometimes I just can't hear the voicemails, so I just delete them. You know, it's just 30 seconds of silence. That's not my fault if you're doing that. Are you angry with me? Because I didn't mean it. The thing that I said. Yeah. If, if whatever it was. Yeah, I'm no, on a I don't 400 think so. mile road trip. Just a coincidence. Um, so, like, I couldn't not, you know, I could not leave a message. Because um, I was thinking about how, like, I wish you would uh, put out more shows. Not that the amount of shows you're doing is inadequate. Yeah. But, like, you know, never enough type of thing. I'm trying. Um, so, like, if we could get down to I like, did a live show yesterday. If I can start doing live shows again, I think I'll get caught up. Maybe, like, a show a day or, like, maybe a. All right, bye. This is a long voicemail. What's with all the long voicemails? Don't you guys listen to the outgoing message? It's like, keep it down to 30 seconds. You know what? I'm not going to listen to any more voicemails that are over 30 seconds long today. I'm going to listen to this one, which is 13 seconds. Hey, Brad. It's Greta Garbage. Hey. I'm just calling to tell you how funny your shows are and how much I love you. Why, thank oh, you. Oh, and by the way, here's your package, Rat King. Thank you, Greta. That was a nice and short voicemail. I'm going to play Brown Teresa's voicemail, even though it's 38 seconds long, but I'm afraid I'm going to cut off that last eight seconds. It's Brown Teresa from Buffalo, New York. Hey. When I listen to your show, I forget how much the world sucks because you, Brad Carter, are hella funny. You should have your own Netflix special, like seriously. <laughs> like um, in your Netflix special, you should show the Situation Room, show us what your kids look like, and my, show us your closet with all kids? your weird outfits, strange little blazers and weird. t-shirts. Yeah, like we want to be all like I own a blazer. Business in your Netflix special. Okay, bye. I have to leave off that end part because I gave you more than thirty seconds there. So you could wonder what my kids look like. Hey Brad, it's Buckshot. I'm in my car. I know you hate long voicemails, so I'm going to keep this one short. Never trust a fart. All right. Good advice from Buckshot. Thanks, Buckshot. Hey, Brad. It's me calling from Devastone. 
Hey, I was uh, wondering about that. You know, you just got butt slam when you play that every here and there. What if you started off a prank call like that and said that, like, whatever the last phone call was, was actually you guys impersonating? It's like if someone called their wife or kid or whatever, you're like, oh, just kidding, it was us. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that would work or not, but uh, have a good one. I don't know why, but I didn't understand anything you said. I think I missed some important part at the very beginning that didn't come through. So hopefully I will know what you're talking about when I do my post-editing. Hello, Brad. Close off here from sunny Alabama. Hey. What was on the hard drive, dude? Peace, Cactus. I don't know. I didn't look at the hard drive. If I wanted to go to prison, I would have looked at the hard drive. But I didn't want to go to prison. I just wanted to call my attorney and LOL with him about the hard drive. I don't know if this is well known yet or not, but if you go over to my YouTube page, my personal YouTube at youtube.com slash RBCP, I uploaded this video about four years ago, five years ago, I don't know when, but it's when I was still on probation and the FBI took all my computers and then a month or two later they gave me back all my computers and they just sat around in my house for a few days. I didn't feel like unpacking all of my old stuff. I think because I knew I wanted to make a video of it. So I made a video of it and it was the darndest thing. There was a hard drive in with my big pile of computers and hard drives and memory cards and tablets and all that stuff. There was something extra in there. It was uh, another hard drive inside of a box. It was a three terabyte hard drive and I'd never owned a three terabyte hard drive before at that time. So in this hard drive box, there was also a letter and the letter was, I don't know, it was something like from the Safeway IT people to whoever was investigating, you know, to the FBI or whoever. And they're like, hey, here's our hard drive and here's the decryption code so you can get into the hard drive. Don't let that Brad Carter have this. No, they didn't say that part, but they gave me the hard drive that I was being charged with accessing. They just gave it to me. I drove my car all the way up to Portland at the time to the federal courthouse and the FBI carried out boxes of my stuff. Oh wait, no, not from the courthouse. It was in another car, but they carried out boxes of my stuff and they included a hard drive that they shouldn't have included in there. So that was an amusing little incident that happened about four years ago. I could have opened up that hard drive and maybe done another live show of grocery store complainers because apparently maybe I had the entire database there with me. That would have been the most hilarious way to go to prison. But if you want to go see that happen live, you know, go see me discover a hard drive mixed in with all of my own stuff. YouTube.com slash RBCP. Hey, you son of a bitch. Don't worry about who this is. What are you, some kind of fucking scammer or some type of shit like that? Hello. Trying to steal my identity? Mm -hmm. Why don't you hang up the goddamn phone? Okay. Click. I hung it up, but that cut that voicemail in half. I should do that more often. Hey, Brad. It's Despicable Dog. Happy belated New Year. Thanks. I'm sure you're going to have so many great episodes of the Snowplow Show. I better. Your hobo shows on Patreon. Yeah. And, uh... And then he just kind of slowly fades away over the next several seconds. I don't know if that was his fault or his phone slowly dying. Hi, Brad. Do you know who this is? No. No cheating. I oh. found this site called shitbradsays.com. Mm -hmm. It's great. I can search for myself and find all the most important clips. Yeah. Except one of them, it said it was my name. It was actually the word hermaphrodite or something. Anyway, I love you. Bye. Wow. Who the fuck are you? I don't know any hermaphrodites. I'm so confused. Okay, last voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's Rex in Jerusalem. I know it's been like two years since I left a voicemail. Hey. But I thought it was time to check up, check in on you. Uh, Thank you. you know, since uh, since way back when, I've had two kids. Uh, you used to call me Mr. Dog Cancer Guy, asshole. I'll have wow. you know the dog is still alive and cancer free. Oh, that's nice. So f you, cancer free for now. And uh, hope everything's all right. Sorry, I unsubscribed from Patreon. I subscribed okay. back again when I got a better job. Bye. I love you. It's okay. Thank you for supporting the show. It's because of things like that that, uh, you know, karma doesn't kill your dog and give it cancer again. So I suggest everybody support the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers so your dog does not get cancer. It's basically foolproof. So that's the end of the show. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thanks, everybody, who showed up for the live show yesterday. I'm going to try and do more live shows now that I've got everything set up. I still need to set up more things. I don't have my soundboard set up. I haven't set up my desk phone or my DTMF decoder. 
I'm going to start doing all that, and hopefully I can do some more live shows this year. Thanks to the sponsors of today's show, the Prime Minister of Australia, Ben Q666, the Stunning Kruger Effect, Wiyamu Hatsun Miku J, and I Regret Jumping. Well, it started out strong and the hopes were high. I figured I'd be like Bonnie and Clyde. I am a real prick, okay? I am a super prick.